skies though. Clear sky. Okay. Clear sky. Yeah. Okay. And here's your temperature timeline. Uh, we're going to be around 80 at 9 o'clock and at 10 p.m. in the upper 70s. So sunset, by the way, at 916. If you're not coming downtown, if you're going to do your own stuff or if you're going to some of the other shows uh, across central Indiana, 86 are high today, average 85. So this was a, you know, kind of a typical July 4th for us. We certainly can have some hot ones. 103, that's the daily record set back in 1911. We hit 100 plus. Uh, back during that grueling summer of 2012, if you recall that one. You can see the haze that I talked about. We're at 85 right now. West wind at 9 should ease a little bit after sunset. Heat index at this hour is pushing 90. So we're back to more typical summer conditions for us after that break that we had for a couple of days. You can see on the map here that wind, as I talked about, coming in from the west. 86 in Greenfield, 85 in Pendleton. 86 in Noblesville, heat and disease near and above 90. I think temperatures will be close to 90 plus not only tomorrow afternoon, but likely about a three day stretch run. So lows tonight near 70 degrees. Tomorrow's going to be a hot one, hot and humid, we'll call it and uh, hazy too. plenty of that haze around. And here's your timeline as we'll get into the noon hour in the middle 80s. Should get to lower 90s for highs across central Indiana for tomorrow. 93 in Lafayette, 93 in Greencastle, and 92 in Bloomington. Muggy meter is going to be miserable. Not only tomorrow, but as mentioned, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, even Thursday. Friday may be a little bit of a break before we're back into the humid heat going into the upcoming weekend. You can see the dew points that are near 70, so that's the tropical air. And speaking of tropics, we're going to slide down and give you the latest with Elsa right now. I'm uh, going to be cutting across Cuba over the next 24 hours, and it looks like a landfall, perhaps a couple of landfalls, maybe in the Keys and there on the west side of Florida sometime around Tuesday into Wednesday. It curves away from us. Our next best storm chance, we'll have a chance there on Tuesday, about a 30% chance on <coughs> Wednesday, and then getting unsettled going into next weekend. All right, Sean, thank you. Still ahead.